The human brain is the most complex system in any organism we have discovered. It is a stunning feat of evolution that our minds arise from biological tissue. The brain is an enormous network of specialized cells called neurons. Everything your brain does, your mood, memories, thoughts, and feelings are all signals in this network. Today you will be learning how neurons work at the molecular level. Discoveries in the chemical workings of neurons has led to new understanding of mental illness, psychoactive drugs, and even consciousness itself. The nervous system is often compared to the modern computer. While neural networks are similar to computers in the abstract, they are very different in practice. Computers work with electrical signals traveling down wires, while neurons use both electrical and chemical signals to interface between living cells. Neurons are structured differently from most cells to fit their unique function. Like most cells, they have a cell body which contains their organelles and nucleus. However, Neurons also have a wire-like axon and branching dendrites. The dendrites receive signals, then the signals from all the dendrites are added together. If the sum of the signals is large enough, an electrical impulse is sent down the axon. The axon terminals pass this signal on to other neurons, and the cycle is repeated. Both inside and outside the cell membrane, there are positively charged sodium and potassium ions. However, there are more sodium and potassium ions outside the cell. This causes an electrical potential difference of negative 70 millivolts across the cell membrane. When the dendrites of a neuron is stimulated, sodium ion channels are opened. As sodium ions rush in across the voltage and concentration gradients, the voltage spikes. When the voltage reaches positive 30 millivolts, the sodium channels close and the potassium channels open. Potassium rapidly exits the neuron down the concentration gradient until the voltage across the membrane returns to 70 millivolts. This momentary spike in voltage is known as an action potential. This process occurs over and over again as the action potential is carried down the axon. As the sodium ions travel down the axon, they activate ion channels that line the cell membrane. The cycle happens again and again until the action potential reaches the axon terminals. The axon terminals are lined by voltage-gated calcium channels. When the voltage increases enough to open the calcium channels, calcium ions flow into the neuron, going down the voltage and concentration gradients. These calcium ions bind to snare proteins, changing their shape. In their active form, Snare proteins catch synaptic vesicles and release their contents into the synapse. The gap between an axon terminal and a dendrite branch is called a synapse. When an action potential reaches the end of the axon, neurotransmitters are released. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that tell the neuron whether or not to fire. The dendrites of the postsynaptic neuron contain receptor proteins which neurotransmitters can bind to. These receptor proteins cause various ion channels to open or close, thus affecting the likelihood that a neuron will fire an action potential. Each neurotransmitter is classified as excitatory or inhibitory. Excitatory neurotransmitters make neurons fire, while inhibitory transmitters prevent them from firing. Let's look at some neurotransmitters and their functions in the brain. Glutamate, the memory neurotransmitter. Glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain, and is involved in cognitive functions, such as learning and memory. It also regulates brain development and creation of nerve contacts. GABA, the calming neurotransmitter. Gamma aminobutyric acid GABA is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter of the brain. Its role is to calm firing nerves in the central nervous system. Increased levels improve mental focus and relaxation, whilst low levels can cause anxiety, and have also been linked with epilepsy. GABA also contributes to motor control and vision. Drugs to treat epilepsy often act by increasing levels of GABA in the brain. Serotonin, the mood neurotransmitter. 
Serotonin is thought to be a contributor to feelings of well-being and happiness. It regulates the sleep cycle along with melatonin, and also regulates intestinal movements. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to depression, anxiety, and other mental disorders. Antidepressants work by increasing serotonin levels. Exercise and light levels can also both have positive effects on the levels of serotonin. Dopamine, the reward neurotransmitter. Dopamine is associated with feelings of pleasure and satisfaction. It is also associated with addiction, movement, and motivation. Dopamine changes neuronal circuits to prefer pleasurable behaviors. These behaviors can be natural, as with eating and sex, or unnatural, as with drug addiction. 